Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures and welcome back to It's Flipping Friday. So today I'm working on a project. I was at an antique store and I bought what I thought was a child's cape for $2. But I think it turns out that it is a cover that you put over top of a bird cage at night. And on the outside were these embroidered birds. So what I did is I just made a little template and I cut out all four birds in this triangle shape. So I've ironed the edges just under a little. I'm going to get into my little stash of antique lace and trims and start to pick out some things to embellish this with and also to create the string at the top that you would hang it from. Before I start to get into all of that, I think what I want to do is actually sew these hems down. I like that stitching there. I feel like that border just finishes it off. Plus, I think I'll be able to envision what I want to do at the top better. Now, the edges are stitched, so now I'm going to play around with what I'm going to add to embellish things. I think that if I did a flower there, I could put a button on the inside. I think that would look cute. And then I also have things like this as well. I'm not quite finished, but I'm almost there. It's almost about midnight and I'm getting kind of tired and I also don't want to just finish it to be finished. I want to make sure that I'm happy with where I place everything. If I want it to be different and shabby little scraps put together to make something. It's the next night and I have fresh eyes looking at this. I needed to find something to fill in these little gaps and I didn't want something too delicate because that's not the vision I had and a lot of the trims I have in here are wide so they were covering up some of these pieces. So in a separate bag I did have some more trims and some of them were still bundled like this so I undid a few and I was able to find this piece which is a really nice length so it gives me plenty here to leave loose and then it was just this nice thin piece to fill in those gaps and not cover up these little details. I really like that it is triangular shaped just like this part of the banner. So that was that was good. I just have to uh, sew up a little bit here and then I have uh, a few buttons pulled out to embellish this last one because it's not done. I've got two glass flowers left and there were five total so I've already used three and when I have a small amount like that, I prefer to use them all up in the same project and not just have one or two buttons left over. So I'd like to add those. I don't know if I'll do that or if I'll put one here at the corner and then just a couple of like mother of pearl ones there. Okay, so very, very close. I also want to stitch my initials. I think I'll just pick the bottom corner to put those in and then I'll find a spot to hang this and I'll share it with you when it's done. I'm all finished and I got my initials down there so I want to go hang this but I want to use just push pins just something easy. So these were the little curtain pins that I found and I have this gold marker that I love because it really looks like gold. I get it at, um, it's Krylon. I got it at Michael's. And so I just went over it a little bit, not to cover everything up, but just to brighten it because this just looks kind of dark. And uh, I think like I'll just put one there and I'll put one there in my corner cabinet and see if I can make it work. I hung it here in my corner cabinet. I just put those little tacks in there and this piece of ribbon trails down further than the other side and I like it trailing down more so I thought well what could I do and instead of trying to get up there and sew something I thought eh, maybe just a little bit more black because I just have it in those few buttons so this is a little piece of lace trim I got that at the Goodwill in those bags of trims I bet it was cut off of some um, piece of clothing so I just snipped that in half loosely tied it and I like that so I'm going to do the other side as well Here's my completed banner. I thank you all for coming along with me as I created this. And I hope to see you in another video.